Hey everybody. Today we're going to show you some examples of what we use in our camping kitchen. It's just our opinion and we're not sponsored by any of these products, but we know that this stuff works. First up, I'm going to show you this Dutch oven. It is a 10 inch Dutch oven from Cabela's. It is also 25 centimeters in case you're metric. Has a nice flat bottom if you can't see already. I love the flat bottom. Works really great on the, on the coals as well. But also, if you're using it on an induction stove, perfect heat. So why you want to make sure cast iron is nicely seasoned before you're using it and before you're putting it away is it creates that nice non-stick coating that you're looking for. How it does that is through the seasoning process is when you actually bake these fats and oils right into the pan itself, you're actually creating that non-stick coating right onto the metal itself. Moving on to the next one, we have a frying pan. Again, this is a cast iron product as well. I love it for the flat bottom. Again, we're using this not only on our, our campfire, but also on our induction stove. Works like a dream. We cook anything in here from breakfast items, eggs, skillets, fry meats, fry cheeses, simmer and um, sauces on here. You can do that as well. You can also sear your steaks straight on here, straight on the campfire. You can do, um, the nice thing about cast iron too, and I haven't mentioned this before, you can take it from campfire to induction stove to the gas burner and into your oven. It does all of them. There's no plastic handles to melt. There's nothing like that. Next up in the cast iron part of the kitchen is our kettle. We also got this from Cabela's. This holds up two liters, also has a nice flat bottom, works great on the induction stove, works great on the coals, works great on the campfire, on our propane stove as well inside. Also works on our Coleman camp stove. No plastic, no mess. Nice two liter capacity. It's great for boiling hot water. You can make a tea in here. If you're really desperate, you could actually make a soup in here, but a little harder to clean out, but you can get your hand right inside there. So this one happens to be a Camp Chef brand. Here's a quick tip for anybody using induction stoves. Make sure you have a perfectly flat bottom. And I mean, no logos and designs, no extra feet that come onto them. Often you'll find um, Dutch ovens that have pegs or feet or things to stand off the ground so the coals and the air can come underneath them. If you can avoid that, it'll work for an induction stove. Also, it works just as fine over the fire, just like the peg ones do. Next up in our cooking kitchen is a griddle. So it is a very slim and thin griddle, but it's an aluminum base on it. It will conduct some heat, but it cooks very unevenly for an inexperienced person. However, inexperienced hands, this is a great little griddle to have. Lightweight, fits everywhere, packs anywhere too. And if you're into a trailer or if you're into backpacking, look how thin that is. So we, we actually do have another set of camping pots from MSR. These are stainless steel, they're ultra light, and they're, we've been using them for about 10 years. The challenge with these, now that we have an induction cooktop, is that they don't actually work with the induction cooktop. That's what we have the cast iron for. And since we've been cooking with cast iron, we actually prefer how the food cooks. This pot set comes with several different pots on the inside from a 10 inch down to a six inch. And the lids, it also comes with the pot holder. Again, we've been using these for a number of years. They've lasted a really long time. The only challenge is now with an induction cook stove, I'm not sure we're going to use these as often unless we're headed down uh, camping outside of our seasonal spot here in the Crow's Nest Pass. So the easiest way to keep these nice and clean, especially when you're cooking over a campfire, is to take a drop of soap and just wipe the bottoms of the pot so it doesn't stick to the pots when you're cooking over the campfire. The other nice thing about the MSR pots is it does come with a carry bag and it does keep everything contained. So the next item up in our camp kitchen is the coffee press. This is a GSI coffee press uh, that actually makes two cups of coffee. We've had this since we were canoe camping. It's super light. You can see it's a little bit well used or well loved. And it's very simple. It comes in two pieces. The coffee press, once you fill the water, you put the coffee press in, 
put the lid on and slowly press down. And the great thing is all the pieces are contained within the coffee press itself. So for those hardcore coffee drinkers, way better than those coffee packets that are out there. You can actually take some pre-ground coffee with you, whether you're backpacking, car camping, or camping in a travel trailer. Another of our must-have kitchen items are these silicone oven mitts. They are perfect for campfire cooking. They keep your hand from getting burned over the open fire. We also do have cast iron pans that do get up very hot. So these will keep your hand protected. They work really well as, as a trivet as well for those hot pans, especially if you don't have a trivet handy. This is a great idea for inside or out of your camp kitchen. Given that storage space is a premium in any RV, especially for drawers, we decided it would be great to have a, a cutlery caddy that you can either leave on your table, put in your camp cupboards. It can also come in or outside of your trailer, depending on where you choose to eat. It makes for easy pack up, easy cleanup, and of course, easy storage. As you can see, it does have several compartments to keep your cutlery separate, a place for your napkins and for your condiments as needed. So we'd like to thank Trish from Keep Your Daydream for a great idea and it definitely does save us on drawer space. So in our camp kitchen, Corel is king. What we do find when you're camping in a camp kitchen, things break, so you need something super durable. We're not a fan of paper plates, although you will find them in our trailer if we're desperate and have more than just four people out of the trailer. But Corel seems to work the best for us. First of all, it's inexpensive, it's very durable, it comes in lots of different pieces. Corel isn't exactly super stylish, but it is very thin and takes up a lot less space than other dishes such as earthenware. The one thing we really love about Corel is it cleans up great. So Brian and I have tried more water bottles than I can count. We've tried Nalgene bottles, we've tried the roll-up bottles, we've tried simple water bottles, and we've tried the equivalent of the Nalgene bottle for Camelbacks. The only ones that we've found that work for us, and again, this is just our opinion, is the Camelback stainless steel. The bottom is small enough that it fits in the cup holder of your vehicle, especially when you're off-roading or you're on a long trip in the car. That's a really great feature. It's also stainless steel, so it does clean out very simply, and it does keep your item hot or cold depending on what type of liquid you've put in it. And the top is very easy, non-spillable, and super easy to drink out of. You also do have the ability to add a straw if that's what you'd like to do. The other item that we've found with these is no matter what you do, they don't leak. And I've dropped this on the ground probably more times than I'm willing to admit. And at this point, it has not dented. This is the Camelback chute. It is 0.6 liters or 20 fluid ounces. So far, this is the best water bottle we've been able to find that we use. Now, it's probably not something you wanna take backpacking, but since we are seasonal campers or car campers or canoe campers, this is our go-to solution. So the bottle is double walled construction, so it will keep your items hot or the liquid cold for several hours, depending on what you choose. If you have questions or comments about the gear, please make sure that you leave it in the comments below. If you're interested in purchasing some of this gear, we've put the link to the gear on our website. Also, if you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. You'll get a notification when the next video is. So thanks for watching and Camp in Harmony, everyone. <laughs> Blooper reel. Okay. Like a trout, right? Like you were yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, a fishing camp, right? Four large bears. Good enough. 
four very hungry people. Sure. Actually, probably cook closer to eight people. It's no, it's cooking. not. It's not <laughs> cooking people. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's all I'm doing right now. Good.